Dr. Doreen Grandpiche is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grandpiche. Dr. Grandpiche. Dr. Doreen Grandpiche. Dr. Doreen Grandpiche is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Kirsten says, I have a question concerning couples on the spectrum. If one individual recognizes that they're on the spectrum and is figuring out their own triggers and quirks, but the mm-hmm. other individual does not acknowledge this, um, this is, uh, excuse me, my thing is jumping around, this sudden re- re- realization and continues to treat and converse with the other individual as if there is no processing issue when it comes to emotions, um, things like tone, not hearing exactly what the other person is saying or internalizing. Um, She goes on to describe many different symptoms of things that are happening, that there's imposter syndrome or the individual going catatonic during high pressure debates, that it's becoming a severe issue. What kind of advice do you have? Because we hear this a lot, that one person has the revelation, oh, part of the reason why I'm having problems in the relationship is that I've got these other things. They start seeking a diagnosis, but the other partner goes, no, (laughs) no. And, just, yeah. and 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 they just revert back to how things work. It can become very difficult. What what do you recommend? Yeah. So it's so funny though, um, Amanda, that you said this because you know if you this think this one about is Kirsten. It, this one. Is oh, Kirsten. sorry, Kirsten. Yeah. And and by the way, um, Traven, I just lost my entire chat. So not sure what I can do about that, but. Um, when when that happens, it's funny because when I was first hearing you say that, Shannon, I was like, okay, I mean, this pretty much happens in almost all relationships, right? So, and it's wonderful that at least, you know, if both couples are on the spectrum here and one has recognized that this has to do with the autism that we both have, right? Because in other relationships, nobody can figure out there's always one person that is like more uh, aware and open and listening to the other. And the other partner is like, what did I do? Like, what's going on here? I don't really know what I did wrong or what's going on. So what you're explaining here, Kirsten, is a very common thing in relationships. It isn't just about autism. It's about relationships. And when we have relationships, it becomes super important to explain to the other person those things they don't see. And it's sometimes hard. We get frustrated because why can't they see this? I don't understand. This person has been my partner for 10 years. Why don't they know this is what I need? They don't. It's just that simple. And before you get frustrated, it becomes super important to sit them down and just say, hey, this is difficult for me. You do not understand that this causes me anxiety. I need you to please understand. And this is my cue. When I'm about to do this, it's because I feel anxious. When, you know, this type of tone scares me or whatever it is, you've gotten really, really close to identifying those things. That is huge because like I'm telling you, most neurotypical couples don't recognize those things as being the issue. So what you've done is you started to identify the issue. This is fabulous. Just tell the other person, these are my triggers. These are the things that cause me to have issues and I would really like you to pay attention to them. That's all. That's all it is. And, and you know, Shannon, I'm sure you do. I do. I, I get... I for no reason at all, I get upset with my spouse because he can't read my mind, you know, or because he doesn't really, he's not fantastic at reading my cues. So it it just, that's, that's kind of my take on it. And, and can I just say that one of the things that I've learned, uh, because we're going to be married 20 years this summer, Wow. Uh, what, one of the things that I've learned is that when you're having a conversation, sometimes there's so many things going on person is trying to listen, but they're also thinking about respond. So my hope is that if I write him a letter, that that is me saying, you better pay attention. <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is So I write the letter. And the nice thing about the letter is I get to think about what I want to say. I don't have to deal with his response. Um, he doesn't have to be thinking about what he's
If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.